Why, hello there. Welcome back to my daily long play stream. This is where I do a playthrough of my current game for a couple hours a day. 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Wednesday through Sunday. At least that's how it's supposed to go normally. I do occasionally take days off, though, such as yesterday, for example. Uh, my reasoning was is that I was actually only going to be able to do an hour streaming anyway. And I had something really important I had to take care of that... Um, had to happen pretty close around the time I was going to start streaming anyway. So I just decided to take the day off. And that was like ordering a catering for a birthday party I threw for myself and, and my a co-worker who has the same birthday as me. Uh, yeah, it was my birthday yesterday. I'm 39 now. Weird. In any case, uh, yeah. And I had to um, order that to, over the phone to make sure it actually happened. But yeah, I did that. Everything went fine. I had an okay birthday, even though I was at work. But I'm back now. I'm playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. The Wii U version on Simu, the Wii U emulator. And yeah, basically, I am at a point where I don't feel like I'm ready to take on the final dungeon, Ganon's Castle. I did do a little bit of exploring of it on Friday, though. But I'm also, um... Not sure if I really want to spend a lot more time playing this game before I do that. So, yeah. I did look up where that last memory was. It wasn't. It is in Ganon's Castle, which is going to make it extra inconvenient for me because I'm going to have to warp out of there once I collect the memory to meet with what's-her-name. And, yeah, it's like in Zelda's library. So it's like, um... Somewhere about here-ish. Oh, maybe there. I don't know. So, or, maybe my, it's not the library. That's why. I, that's actually where I entered in from. It's um like her study, her bedroom. I don't know. So it's like somewhere over here. In fact, it might actually be right here-ish. Any case, um, I'm not going to be able to do that yet. So what I'm going to do instead is um, take a look at the adventure log here. And I'm going to try to take care of um, some of this other stuff here. Take care of some side quests. See if I can do the remaining shrines. I should probably see where the game wants me to go. And yeah. If I can get like one more heart container, that would be nice. I mean, realistically, I guess it doesn't matter all that much because I have such, um, <laughs> any time, um, significant enemy after he does damage to me, he takes a large number of hearts off. But still, I feel compelled to try anyway. Can't really say it's for completionist's sake because I'm not a completionist. And I know I'm never going to find them all, which is fine, but yeah. Oh, okay. Ball them. All right. Hi. Thought this is for the great fairy that I already found. Hmm. I literally thought I was just turning in a quest, not starting one. Oh well. Chicken. Chicken. Here's a shrine that I just fast traveled to. Oh, 
This is a gorgeous looking game. I have it running at 4K60. Along the path that leads past the shrine. Get a picture of it, so I'm gonna have to delete some picture. Is there like a mod I can do that allows me to hold more pictures? That'd be nice. Oh, good. My Master Sword is back. Ah, couldn't get the lizard. Okay, so she said it was uh, along a path. Guessing it's this way. I'm going to delete the less interesting pictures I've taken. I must have used this to solve a puzzle, which means I don't need it anymore. It's kind of neat, I guess. Taking a lot of pictures here. Look at that. <laughs> Squirrels. Yeah, that tree, that's a neat looking picture. Yeah, this is the most riveting streaming content you'll see on YouTube. Ah, uh, crap. Can I take a picture of this mushroom? What's wrong with me? I mean, lots of things, but still. Yeah, this thing. There we go. How do I unzoom it? Okay. Oh yeah, that's not the um that's not the camera. Sorry.
Hopefully she's still there. Yeah, if you just walk like uh, 20 feet that way, you'll find it too. What? I mean, I've already found that one, so that's not, like, all that helpful to me. But still, I help someone out. That's pretty cool. Can check off another side quest. What's over here? Okay, hey, remember that one ball that, that uh, she had there in that uh, hut? I think it goes here. Do I have to sneak in there at night and use it? Or maybe getting it will be my reward for collecting the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the thing, the last yeah. memory. I don't know, but I feel like I should uh, ma mark this somehow. There you go. Yeah, so to make up for my not streaming yesterday, I think I'm going to go for the full two hours today. I, there's no good reason for me not to. Therefore, oh, yeah, these are where I found Korax. Okay, never mind. You know, this area in front of me is an awfully big area to not have like anything there. I wonder if there's like a shrine somewhere around here. Although, to be perfectly honest, I may have gotten to the point where my shrinal meter is just not going to work because any remaining shrines are going to be like, oh, you, you need, they're like buried or something. I don't know. So I'm just going to have a nice relaxing stream, screwing around and doing some side questing. I actually just like roaming around the landscape here. It's a very nice looking game. Especially running an emulation at much higher resolution. And even du and double the frame rate, of course. And higher settings, too. Like, oh, this is what a next-gen uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild would look like. I have to uh, take a look at what exactly what settings I have this on at some point.
Now, if I was so weak that I was basically taken out in one hit, I probably wouldn't be attacking enemies like that. Just saying. Great. It's still going. Yeah, good. It stopped. All right. I have a lot more rupees now than I did. I'd like to keep collecting rupees so I can eventually get like some really good armor, that ancient armor set that I need all those ancient pieces for. Expensive not just because of how much it costs in rupees, but also like the ancient components themselves are pretty hard to find. Although I suppose I could just farm a lot of them, so to speak, just by attacking those big guardians. You know, one thing it would be nice if I had is the Hillian Shield, or some, I don't know if it has like the same properties of reappearing as the um, Master Sword does, but something I can basically reflect their shots back at them. That'd be nice. All right, um, yeah, I don't know. Guess let's take a look at the adventure log again, see what else we've got. Apparently that was a main quest. We completed quite a few of these things. These are shrine quests. These are side quests. Oh, these are expansion memories. Okay. I wonder if it'll let me go in there just wearing my regular clothes. Let's try that. That's just silly. I mean, the leader of your clan knows who I am. Ah, oh well.
The ice at the ice house. If you bring the ice to the entrance to the ruins between town and the... Okay. This is a job for fast traveling. Let's simple. I'll fast travel to that tower and then glide down there. I think I have a side quest involving this bird. How did I get up to that point? Another one of these things, I think. No, I don't. It looks like it's uh, been activated already. I don't know. What exactly am I looking for again? Is this it? Eh, uh, what? Okay, there's that little area down here. Oh. You think it's gonna let me fast travel to, um... <sighs> that wasn't very helpful. Try that again. Well, I can't run while carrying this thing. Do I have anything that has like a... Any weapon that makes that is like a cold weapon. I should probably get one. Uh, 
Ah, crap. You serious game? And they shoot fire at me. That's just great. I had an ice wand at some point. And she's gone because it's nighttime. Great. Um So unfortunate because like nighttime would be the perfect time to be carrying that. Okay, let's um load up that save file. Okay, so here's an idea. I'm gonna wait here. Well, this ice is clearly not melting. Until it's nighttime. When it's gonna be cold and the ice won't melt. Does that sound like a plan? I don't know if it's a good plan, but I'm hoping it's one that will work. In the meantime, I'm just going to hold this ice. You know, ice is pretty heavy. This seems very unrealistic. You know, the society is advanced enough that they have um, a tablet. You'd think they'd have refrigeration. Just saying. <laughs> oh, crap. So yeah, so my pl my plan as of right now is after I'm done with this game, I'm going to do a little Octopath Traveler 2 on Nintendo Switch. And yeah, hoping I can get done with that game before like the um, big games of fall start coming out. Like there's um, Starfield I want to play and such. I still have my backlog of games as well. Maybe I should have bought Octopath Traveler 2. But yeah, I wanted it. It was on sale. Yeah, I got it. Can you blame me for buying a game I wanted? Yeah, I'm just waiting here, waiting for nighttime. Mm 
No, it's not night time yet. Yep, it won't let you run. Looks like she's left. <sighs> All right. All right. In fact, I'm actually going to give a quick save here as well. Hey, if it's cold enough that uh, it would, I would freeze to death, that means the ice isn't going to melt, right? Like my logic there? I just gotta avoid all these fire-breathing enemies, and I'll be fine, hopefully. But I gotta say, this is a lot of effort I'm doing just for one shrine. I'm going to change back into that one outfit before I get there. I have plenty of health, so freezing to death won't be that big of an issue. I'm assuming if I drop off the ledge here, then I'll drop the ice block as well. Probably not. Probably would not be good. My plan worked. I'm a little surprised. Usually my ideas don't work.
Yeah, desert is strange. During the daytime, it's too hot, and during the nighttime, it's too cold. I wonder if deserts are like that in real life. Ah, crap, I need to go over here. Eh. No, I'm not concerned about the... Actually, I could just put this thing on. There you go. Well, the good news is, is that once I get there, uh, I should be able to activate the, um, what do you call it, the shrine. It'll give me another fast travel point. I'm hoping that this will be one that just gives me a free orb. <laughs> Considering the ordeal that I had to go through to get to this point, I, it should better. Alright. Alright, made it. Uh. That's why right, she was covering that thing. I forgot. It's been a while. down. Sure looks like a freebie shrine. Oh yeah it is. Good. Hey, I gotta talk to Broccoli Guy to get my, um, get another, um, ooh, diamond, a slot. Get some money with that. Another weapon slot. And I got my health back, too.
All right, um... Let me, uh, think here. I guess I could just look up how to do this one. I just quickly run inside, I'll be fine. I think I still have Garuda armor, by the way. Oh yeah, this is, uh... This is not the same one. This is a different one. This is the one I did try, but... I was unable to figure out. This is not the one I wanted to go to. I think the one I want to go to is in the forest where the uh, Master Sword was. Need to go ahead and do that. Okay, let's get out of here. this up. The trick to solving the puzzles in this shrine lies in the number of constellations you count on the wall and then placing the ball representing that number in the rows and columns on either side of the central platform. I'm not sure I get it. Each column represents a constellation, which you see at the head of each column. And each light represents a number of constellations that appear on the far high wall, which is that one. All you have to do is count the number of constellations on the upper wall and place a ball into the container and the column matches the number of constellations you count. Let's see, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Mm hmm. Okay. Just have to add it up to 11. Let's so start with putting one here. It's five. I need six more, but it has to be four. Okay. Ah, crap. Five plus three equals eight. A two and a one, maybe? Oh. 
Okay, can you not do that, please? Okay, I guess it's gonna be picky. Okay, so how do you get in this one then? Alright, fine, I'll just cheat on this part too, I don't care. Four, two, two, one. I spent a lot of time, not just in, this, in the stream recently, but also separately trying to figure this one out. So I'd feel no guilt or shame over having to cheat this time. Because this is like... Not good. Knowing me, there's no way I would be able to figure that out on my own. Not a chance. Ah. Alright, it's not even worth it. Yeah, I, I don't like the big swords. They're too slow. I can't fast travel to that one yet, can I? <laughs> Venture log. I'm gonna try this one. And I'm also going to change out of these clothes here. It's a rare find, and yet I have four of them. I 
Does that mean I have like more of these things as well? Could I like be selling these some of these things? I don't know. Okay, let's go to wherever this thing wants me to go to. Alright, fast travel to this tower, then glide down there. What's up with the giant holes in this thing? It's a little weird. I think that's a little weird. Yeah, I was wondering if that was an enemy or not. Apparently it is. I remember there were sometimes giant rock enemies that would appear like that. And apparently I was one of them. <laughs> Floofy. Got plenty of these apples. Oh, it's a shield. All right, uh, how about if we take a look around here with our tools, limited as they are. Nothing magnetic, okay. Uh, all right, yeah, <laughs> really are limited. Anything, there's no water here, so. Adventure log, let's see what it says. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. Pierce its gaze like a sword?
A doll? What? Which statue are we talking about here? Yeah. No, it still has him listed as the, um, the thing, the destination on the map. And he, you can see the little yellow dot is moving around as he moves around. So that's, yeah. If I talk to him enough. Oh. Dark light. I look around. Got anything new? Mm. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that. This is fun. I found a restless cricket. Floofy. You never harm Floofy, not deliberately anyway. Anything new? Oh. Sure you can. 
<sighs> I wonder if there's anything that I have that might um be helpful here. Probably have to spend some more time cooking meals at some point. I wonder, I wonder if it would be more worth my time to look up the recipes on the internet for, like, useful stuff. I don't know. Could just spend some time looking at these um, the ingredients themselves. And where's the, uh, the rice? Admit I'm not finding it. Here it is. Ingredients in making risotto, like in things like risotto and rice balls. Okay, cool. Now, wasn't there something that I had that like produced a glow of some kind? Punch up dishes while cooking? Okay. Certainly, I've collected a lot of junk, even after, and I said so much, I still have a lot of it, even after the cooking I've been doing. <sighs> Something glowy. Refer to a dreadful variety of doll with the ability to influence one's behavior. Some kind of a doll. Do I have anything like that on hand? I don't know.
I don't even know what I'd even be looking for in this case. Where are you going? Ooh. Fine. Well, hey. The, um... The map is clearly pointing me towards this thing. Towards this guy, so I'm just gonna follow him. So, do I need to obtain this doll? Or, what's up? What's what's the deal here? The whole goblin camp there. Who does walking or ride by? Because it's across the river. A little strange. Just casually walking past these goblins. What the heck? I just drowned for no apparent reason. What is going on with this game? <laughs> Holy crap. You see this nonsense? The game thinks I'm underwater for some reason. Okay, so apparently there's a giant glitch somewhere in here. Look at that.
There's like an invisible pocket of water right here. What is going on? Well, I mean... Okay. I'm going to warp back to base camp because this area is freaking me out. So I don't know if this is like a problem because I'm running an emulation and the game's just being all freaked out. But it's like, I don't get it. I don't know. I may not be able to do that one. And not just because it's an area that's apparently completely glitched out, but also because he's not, like, giving me any instructions on what to do next. I don't want to just keep looking everything up. Not when there are, like, other, um... Shrines I could be trying to do. to hang out in here. Right, let's take a look at the, um... Hmm, excuse me, sorry. Let's take a look at the, uh, adventure log. Let's try this one then. At least it's not thunderstorming here. Pride of the reader, pillar in the sky, its heart lights up when the sun is high.
Oh, alright. When the sun is high, its heart lights up when the sun is high. The path not whole, but warming flame. A neat village here. There's the giant bird. Nothing in there. Oh well. So I guess we're waiting for the sun to become high, so 12 o'clock. Hey, guess what? More waiting, I guess. Pride of the Rito, pillar in the sky, its heart lights up when the sun is high. What is its heart? The heart shines upon a path not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. Yeah. So yes, I guess you have to wait for noon. Something will shine upon a spot. Probably, I'll probably do a, a hard save. Right before noon, so give me the best opportunity to figure this out. Do you think that's the thing? Do you think the divine beast is what it's referring to? I don't know. Has to be something, right? Oh, dear. 
Hey, look, I even found that little guy. Crazy. Ah, uh, apparently I'm up too high or something. Look at that thing. Maybe we should try to get to that. Create a save right here. It's getting close to noon. I assumed it would be noon, but apparently not. Maybe it's later. Oh. <laughs> sure. Pillar in the sky. It's light height. Heart lights up when the sun is high. The heart shines upon. Path on hold, but a warming flame can stir its soul. Uh. I'm guessing it's that thing, those vent things. You might see light emitting coming from there, shining down something down here. A path not whole. That's just to me like a broken bridge or something. Nice little pool there. Yeah. I'm just guessing here. I don't really know. Yeah, I have no idea. I should actually mark this thing right here with a, um, one of these things.
big old waterfall in the distance there. I thought that, was a, thought that little girl was a mushroom. <laughs> That's crazy. So that... I mean, the sun is definitely high. Uh. And yeah, I see no shining of anything down on anything. I try climbing this thing. Just because I don't know. Pillar in the sky. I assume that it's the divine beast they're talking about. The um the pride of the Rito. It's literally on a pillar in the sky. It's heart and looks like that area, that grating that had a little bit light of it in it or behind it. I'm guessing that's what that is. And it should shine on something at noon. Hey, look, I've already gotten the thing that was here. Good job, me. It's a lot of work just for one seed. What is the meaning hidden in these lyrics? The heart shines upon a path not whole. But yeah, a path not whole sounds like a broken bridge to me.
That doesn't look like a broken bridge. Yeah, over there, it's another one of those things. I wonder if that's what the game is referring to. But that doesn't look like a path to me, though. Also looks like something that's already been activated. A different kind of wheat, alright. Yeah, these morons keep attacking me, I keep killing them and taking their stuff. Ooh, spicy peppers, I like those. Now, doesn't that look like a heart? Interesting. Hey, go away, jerk. You are not welcome here. Is there a sunrise firefly? All right, let's um I wish this game had a better way of organizing uh stuff. A warming flame. <sighs> All right, what do we got here? Hey, I was able to figure it out. The path not whole thing was a, um, misleading, I think. Good. 
there should be another freebie, right? Right? Ooh, I'm slouching and it's hurting. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like a freebie, unfortunately. No, not a freebie at all. Oh, well. Cannon. Okay. Stupid inventory always being full. Guess once I uh, just use up that thing, it won't. My current bow, it won't be, right? Time that pretty well, I guess. All right. Yeah, there's another one here. Have to wait. What? Stupid game. Apparently, he didn't drop all the way down there. Why that didn't work. Can I drop an, this one down here? somehow. Ooh, diamond. I'll take that.
And this will give me my health back. So that's good. And yeah, I'll have enough uh, orbs for another heart container. Actually, I can go back to that that thing I just found. Also, I'll go back to the forest to find Broccoli Guy. Quick fast travel there. Uh, the yawns today. I felt like crap waking up today. I did not want to get up. One of those days, I guess. One of those old-fashioned bad mornings for me. Interesting that still gives me the option for a stamina container, even though I can't, even though it told me I can't have any more stamina. It's not going to allow me to get a fourth ring. Unless that's something like the DLC added, which if that was the case, it wouldn't have told me that. I don't know. But hey! I figured it out. You know, I wonder if I, should, if I should tell her what I found. I'll go do that. She might be interested to know. Maybe I'll get something for it. I don't know. After that, my next stop will be the Hidden Forest with Broccoli Tree Guy. Broccoli Guy. Is this the same one? I think so. Alright. Alright, well, that's done at least. I found another shrine. So yeah, that, that shrine would not pop up with the um, shrine meter there's some stuff going on over here. Or more importantly, there's the absence of anything there. Now, I also wouldn't be surprised if there's some or if there's more shrines up in this um cold mountainous region as well. You think I should try to explore this desert some more too? There's gotta be something over here, right? I don't know. Let's head up to, um, here. I probably should have talked to Broccoli Guy when I was here earlier today, but I didn't think of it. He's not going to be happy once he finds out I plan on eating some broccoli after the stream. I just won't tell him. How's that sound? Okay, don't tell me he moved to another spot already. Dagnam it. Of 
crap. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. It's gonna be a long time if I can find enough for another upgrade. Yay, I can hold another melee weapon. You know, it's kind of dumb that this is the one I'm choosing because I have the Master Sword, which replenishes. But eh. Oh well. I never run out of shield energy. I mean, I've been using this same shield forever. And I'm not good at using shields anyway. And bows, that I find those so readily. It's the arrows that count more, so yeah. Forty-five. And I have nine. Wish I could just sort of explore this forest. I bet there's something else around here. It's like, oh, once you leave these uh, areas right here, you just become lost in it. That's not cool. Huh. The lost woods. Go head back to that air village. I want to take a look at that one. And do a little exploring before I call it a stream. It definitely looks like there's something up there. an eye on the shrine meter just in case. Yeah, these wolves will attack you. <laughs> Stupid jerks. I guess not. Oops, sorry. Oh, well. Yeah, I see something glowing over there. stones, okay. Is this the skeleton of a dragon?
sharks. See something down there. All right, treasure chest. Yep. Mm, I'll take that. Do you think that's everything that's here? I guess they probably not. Yep, the blood moon is rising. There it is. So those enemies I just dispatched are about to s respawn again. Boom. Oh yeah, that's that's what I intended to do. Oops, I blew myself up there. Like a moron. That's kind of a neat one. Yeah, the uh, motion controlled aiming is annoying at times. Can, can you stop with the horn? Oh yeah, I let these guys fire at me a little bit so I can steal their arrows.
I mean, they can't hit the broad side of a barn, so it's not like it's gonna cause me any issues. It's like they're aiming for where I, where I was like five seconds ago. That's how bad their aim is. One of them actually got me. Yay! That treasure chest unlocked. I mean, by, I took out all the enemies inside this thing right out of the gate with my explosive arrow aiming at the exploding red barrel, so yeah. Oh, that's it? Okay. That wasn't that interesting or useful. Whatever. of mining opportunities here. I, you know, I wonder, do I have like an actual mining axe or something I could be using for this? So I realize that some of these tools are actually useful for other things, uh, things other than weapons. Like maybe the sickles would be better for clearing grass. And this is for like cutting down trees. I can't remember what this is for. Maybe this would be better for breaking rocks. Let's try it. Oh, look at that. It's exactly what it's for. Who knew? Yeah, this game has a lot of complicated systems. It's easy to, like, not be aware of them. Lose track of them. Seems like there should be something here. That's kind of like the bulk of this game is... It seems like there should be something here. You know, I bet using this instead of the explosives will actually get me more stuff from this, from these rocks. Maybe that's why I've been missing out on. Hey look, I found another little guy. That's why it's sometimes it's just hidden under rocks. Ah! 
Alright, well, I think I'm gonna head back to base camp now and call it a stream. Yeah, I'm at the two hour mark, a little bit past it, so that seems like a good idea. Uh, but before I go, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate when people take time out of their day to watch my streams, or I'd be live or even in archive form. Uh, just as a quick reminder, I normally do a stream like this almost every day at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Wednesday through Sunday, notwithstanding days that I decide to take off. For whatever reason. Now I pick this thing up. Uh, apparently not. I can't smash it either. Oh well. Seems strange that this thing would be here. Maybe I had to do that in order to activate the shrine. I don't know. So yeah, so my plan is tomorrow, on uh, Wednesday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be back playing more Legends out of Breath of the Wild. Uh, for the the Wii U version running on Simu, the Wii U emulator. And I think I'm going to just do more of what I've been doing. Exploring around, trying to do more side quests, find more shrines if I can. And my plan is hopefully I'll get started on this uh, Ganon's Castle uh, sometime next week. I'm not entirely sure yet, but we will have to see. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you back here Wednesday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for more The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on Simu. And until then, take it easy.